Hey everybody, this is Elliot from Little Pump People here, and today I'm here with Jessica and Jackie of Diane Fist. So I'm new to your music, you're a newer band, can you tell us a little bit about yourselves? Yes, we are a progressive rock and metal duo. We're from Riverside, California. Awesome. We are twins, so. <laughs> <laughs> double, double trouble, I guess, right? <laughs> <laughs> awesome. How did you like filming the music video for Realm? Oh, Realms was mm -hmm. a blast to film. We worked with our really good friend, Vicente Cordero, mm -hmm. and we found a really cool location that really spoke well for the song. So we did mm -hmm. really cool. Yes, very cool. Awesome. Also, I just have to say, I love Realm. I absolutely love it. Thank you so Thank much. You. Yeah, yes. that song was a lot of fun to, um, to really write and record in the studio. Um, I don't know if you checked it out, but um, we were working. We were working with um, Steve Evitz, the producer. For that. Oh, awesome! So with a lot of bands, like yeah. Butcher Babies, um, Dillinger Escape Plan. Mm -hmm. So nice. Lots yeah. of progressive time signatures. So as a, as a drummer, it's really fun to kind of push myself and write kind of like different grooves. We're big fans of Gojira, so oh, yeah. gotta feel that groove, right? <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah. Do you ever argue with each other while writing songs together since you're t sisters, or do you mostly get along? That, that, it's, a, it's a healthy <laughs> argument, if that makes sense. Um, it, it's a musical conversation, so every time we write a song, yes, um, sometimes there's um, times when I feel like the drums um, should direct the guitar in a certain way, if yeah. that makes sense. <laughs> and um, sometimes we'll have like our little twin spats, I guess. <laughs> but it, in the end, it, it's all for the better of the music. So, yeah, and I mean, like each song starts different. I'm sure you've heard like mm -hmm. guitar riffs can come first, vocals can come first. So it, it really depends, but we always work it out. Yeah, and I'm sure you two have amazing chemistry as well since you're sisters. Thank right, you. yeah, we're all we have. So yeah, <laughs> it's fun playing when we were when we were playing live shows um, as a two piece. It's it's very fun because it's just the two of us on the stage. And mm -hmm. it's um, it's just a good interaction. So yeah, yeah, we really feed off of that. We get line. each other. <laughs> <laughs> Twin telepathy, I think. Mm -hmm. Definitely, I can see it. If you were offered to open up for any band on tour, who would you pick? Ooh, uh, great question. There, we might have different ones for this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, let's see. I I'm tied between a female-fronted metal band and just an awesome metal band. Yeah. So uh, I would. Say Gojira for just metal, mm -hmm. but for all female, I would say like in this moment or something. Yeah, something Definitely. very hardcore. And of course, I would say Metallica. I mean, that, that's a given. <laughs> That'd be amazing. Yes. Hopefully, someday. Yeah, mm -hmm. it could happen. <laughs> what are your top five favorite metal bands of all time? Oh, oh gosh, okay. amazing question. So, I wish it was six so we can split it up like three and three. <laughs> we could do we could do six. You two want to do three and three? One, one bonus. Okay. okay, for me, it'd probably be um, Metallica, Bullet for My Valentine. I, I grew up listening to them, and they're great bands. And um, yeah. Trivium, right now. Nice. Those are good picks. Those are good ones. <laughs> yeah, um, I would say um, Gojira for sure. Um, definitely some Dio. I love Dio. Yeah, definitely. Lyrics, so good. And I'd probably roll with Slayer. I can see it on your hat. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you have to go with the classics there, of sorts. Yeah. Awesome. Nice choices. Thank you. If your music took the form of an animal, what animal do you think it would be? Oh, we've never been asked <laughs> that question. That's a very cool question. That is cool. I, I think something that looks sweet, but once you pet it, it just snaps at you, maybe. <laughs> like a chihuahua. Chihuahuas are cute, right? <laughs> yeah. But then they're kind of aggressive, so I think our music is like that. Yeah, I'd probably have to say, I don't know, it's, um, I, I don't know. I, I think a Chihuahua is probably the, the funniest and most true option for us. It's Small just, but mighty. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's easy to say because we have a pet Chihuahua, so she's pretty feisty. <laughs> awesome. When and where do you usually feel the most at peace with yourselves? Oh, I'd probably say writing. Yeah, writing and um, performing really, like whether it's on the stage or even at home, mm -hmm. just, you know, um, being really connected to the music because um, once you're really connected to the music and everything external kind of goes away mm -hmm. and you're just like right in that zone, that's, that's when we're 
confident with everything. Mm-hmm. That's a good. That's a good answer. When you're lost in the music. Yeah. Yes. For sure. When <laughs> can we expect more material from you two? Um, monthly, yeah. So yeah. we are currently working on an album with Steve Evitz, and um, we'll be releasing singles every month. Mm-hmm. So we just released Rome's um, this month, and next month we'll be releasing another single. So stay tuned. Hell yeah. yeah. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> yeah, it Keep the build. <laughs> yeah, the album should also wrap up maybe early next year sometime. So yeah, stay tuned awesome. for Awesome. I'm very excited for that. Thank you. Thanks. If you could fix one thing on this planet, what would you fix? Um, wow. I would probably have to say, um, I mean, just the current issues that are going on. I mean, like, mm-hmm. it would be amazing if everyone could just get along and just appreciate each other and mm-hmm. um, really understand each other and just have no hard feelings. I think that would be a perfect world. Yeah, I think just just um, finding, you know, like your passion and, you know, yeah. we don't want too much anxiety happening with everybody. Like, life's too short for that. So just mm-hmm. everybody, like, living presently yeah. and just um, making the most of every day because we just don't know. That's a good answer because that kind of fixes multiple things all in one. Yeah, so yeah, <laughs> yeah, it does. Yeah, all solution idea, I guess. <laughs> do you believe there's an afterlife? And what do you hope it will be? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we believe there is. Um, we believe um, we're, we're all called to do something different. We're all blessed with different talents. And um, in this life that we have now, um, we're called um, by God, we believe, to um, to do whatever we're good at. So it's up to you. It's up to everyone to find that passion of theirs and just go full force with it. Yes. Yeah, for sure. What goal would you really love to achieve in life other than music? Ooh, um, definitely question. something within the arts kind of realm, no pun intended. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, I myself, I, I love to do um, drawings and sketches, which is why I love Mario from Gojira because yeah. he's very into art and stuff. So um, definitely something that involves like, creating some kind of um, art or painting or something. Yeah, yeah. I would love to get one of his, his um, drum heads. He likes to paint on them too. They're super cool, different designs. So yeah, we should do that too. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> We're not really sporty people, so it would have to be an art <laughs> for sure. But we did do um, cheerleading when we were in high school. Yeah. Fun fact, <laughs> we're flyers, so they would throw us up in the air and we do like tricks, but yeah. Alter ego. <laughs> <laughs> it's good practice for when you're doing flips and diving out into, you know, the moshes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. I wish yeah. we could do like backflips on stage, but maybe we'll cool. save that for 2021. <laughs> Take the guitar <laughs> off and go crazy. <laughs> nice. What scared you the most when you were a kid? And what's your favorite horror movie? Ooh. Oh, um, I'll answer the horror I, movie. Do we have the same fears? <laughs> I think we have the same fears. Yeah. Definitely bugs, <laughs> insects, anything crazy. Mm-hmm. But as far as like anything really crazy, like heights or stuff like that, yeah, I probably see spiders. That fear has followed us, you know, forever. <laughs> it's it's probably always still there. But yeah, yeah. spiders and creepy crawlies. But um, horror movies, I probably say it chapter one. It chapter awesome. one, yeah. It's I would say like one. something like I don't know the the Conjuring or any paranormal kind oh. of movie. Oh, I got it, The Shining. The Shining, yeah. Yeah, we were we dressed up as the Shining Twins for Halloween, so it was pretty fun. We did. Yeah. Classic. Yes. Mm-hmm. What are some of your favorite bands that aren't metal? Oh, oh Rush. We listen to a lot of non-metal bands, surprisingly. Yes. Yeah, um, definitely Rush, but, you know, they have some borderline metal stuff, you know. <laughs> they do. But, um, yeah, aside from that, we're very into, like, um, like pop melodies as well, which mm-hmm. is why we really love Ghost too. Yeah. But as far as non-metal, um, I'd probably have to say like the genre of classical music because yeah. we did grow up on classical music. We started off um, playing piano mm-hmm. and we started at the age of seven. So um, yeah. yeah, of course we try to incorporate any classical piano sounds we can we can find and yeah, yeah. stay tuned for that too as well as on um, on our new album too. Mm-hmm. So. Awesome. Yeah. That sounds amazing. Uh, it's good to mix up the music, you know. Yeah, right. Got to keep it fresh. Yeah, because exactly. you can be inspired by different genres. Uh, very much so. Awesome. Mm-hmm. If you could have any superhuman power, which power would you choose? 
Great question. Oh, I'd probably say the power to fly. <laughs> That'd be amazing. Yeah, the power to fly. Um, I don't know about the power to be invisible. That might be kind of yeah. tricky. But <laughs> yeah, definitely fly because, you know, it's hard to get everywhere through car nowadays or mm-hmm. even by foot. <laughs> yeah. So it save energy. <laughs> or time travel. I exactly. would love time yeah. travel. That's a good one. Take me back to the 70s, please. <laughs> 80s rock. You can go to an old school Metallica show, you know. Yeah, definitely. Yes, for time sure. travels you mm-hmm. and, fly and invisibility. All of them are good. Yeah. You, wrong with any, you can't go wrong with any of them. Yeah. What yeah. would you try to accomplish if you had to be the president for a year? Ooh. Oh, um, great one. That kind of ties into my answer to the first question. I would yeah. just try try my best to come up with um, uh, laws that are fair that would um, mm-hmm. you know accommodate everybody and um, just just create a more loving world. <laughs> yeah. Really, so yeah, definitely and um, definitely to push um, music in schools because yeah. I know um, Hetfield was um, a, a huge pioneer for that. But mm-hmm. yeah, definitely bringing the arts back into school yeah. as well as continuing just education in general. Because we all we all know how important social interaction is. <laughs> I mean, it's it's kind of we can still get by with doing stuff on screen, but you know, just interpersonal relationship, having that one on one connection. Yeah, which is why music in schools is so good because you can relate to people. Yeah, those are both great answers. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Okay, for these, you're gonna say if you believe in them. Mm-hmm. Ghosts. Um. I believe in spirits. And yeah, in yeah. Spirits. yeah, we believe in spirits, yeah. but ghosts, I'd probably say no. But it's open to interpretation, though. <laughs> yeah, you can think you've seen the ghost, so I guess it's like a spirit. It's like mm-hmm. interchangeable, I think. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, yeah, I yes. probably agree with that. Mm-hmm. Yep. Aliens. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I believe there are some form of life on other planets. Mm-hmm. I don't know if they actually look like the aliens we all know in our minds. But they're probably like little bugs or something. But I do yeah. believe there's other. <laughs> I do believe that there's other like life forms, right? Besides Earth. So yeah, yeah, yeah. for sure. They probably don't have big black eyes, but yeah, very. <laughs> just some plant on like a planet a few million light years away. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but there's other universes, you know, outside the solar system. So mm-hmm. just never know. Exactly. Magic. Magic. Ooh. Uh... I think miracles happen, yeah. if that is, like, the same kind of um, term we'll go with. But, um, like, magic tricks and stuff, like, you know, stuff like that, that's really fun. But yeah. we do believe in miracles, so that is magic in some way. Awesome. Yeah. All right, so uh, where can we find you online? Uh, listen to your music. Tell us a little bit about that. Definitely, yeah. yeah. Well, we do have social media. Uh, we have Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Mm-hmm. Um, we can find us at Dianthus Live. And we also have a website as well. It's dianthuslive.com. Yes. And we have um, our brand new single, uh, Realms, which is out. And you can check it out. We have the music video. It is on YouTube. And we're on Spotify and stuff like that. So check it out. Awesome. So everybody check that out. Uh, Thank you guys so much. Uh, Is there anything else you'd like to add? Um, thank you for having us and thanks yes. for asking all of those cool questions. Um, yes. Yeah, we can't wait to share some new music with you all. Yeah, we'd like to say hello to all of your fans too. And yeah, thank you for having us on this on this awesome show. So thank you again. Thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs>